Hey hey everybody, welcome to my tutorial videos. Today I will be making a fun 3D tutorial in 3D Max. I'll show you how to create an exploding head in 3D Max and also how to melt your 3D model as well. So um, I'll create a, a tutorial video of how you can import your CAD data into Creo. Um, just follow the links or look through my videos to see that and and um, and you can use your CAD model to create interesting videos in 3D Max just as this one right here. So let's get, get started. Um, I'll show you how to explore your model and also how to melt your 3D object with the model files with in 3D Max. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first step is bring in your CAD model. Um, I use Crow to create my 3D model and save as an IGS and I import it in here. And I went through, click on elements and flip the normal so it's facing the right way. And just move it into place. Okay, so the first step what we need to do is simplify the model. This model is very high resolution and it could could crash your your computer i mean just the program it will crash the program because it's just too complicated and there's a modifier called multi-res and we're going to reduce this uh, poly count number to about five percent so just open your model go to modify tab go through the list, modify list, and select multi-res and click generate. So after that, go here and change the percentage to, you can reduce it 50%, 10%, I'm gonna reduce it all the way to 5%. So actually maybe 10% to give it some detail. So this is a more simplified version and so the, so our, our computer don't crash all right we're gonna go ahead and start exploding to do that you go to go to here at the first one and select particle system and select p-ray so well, just go to the top view just place this anywhere it doesn't matter the right size and click on pick object pick your 3d model and just quickly play that. So, so the P ray basically animates, create animation, um, a sort of a spray. So basically, what you need to do, you go in here and click on mesh. So it was displaying ticks before. We want to create an exploding 3D object. Also, go open the particle generator. Go in variation. We want to have a different look to the why explode i'm gonna make it 40 there and i'll create 300 frames of animation so um so what's the how long you want the animation to be so i want it to stop at 300 and i want it to last for 300 and also the animation on the bottom here you can make it uh, how many frames do you like? Okay, to change the number of frames in our animation, we can go to play here and right click on it and change how long you want your animation to be. I'll actually make this about 400 and 400 length. Click OK. Go back to your modifier, click on your model. Okay, so go back, select the what do you call that? P array particle system, and we're gonna go in. This time we'll make it 400 to have a longer length. 400. Uh, go particle type. Click on object fra fragments, and just I'll just go through a few frames. So that's what it looks like. Um, increase the thickness will make it look nicer so I'm 
Yeah, I'm gonna crank this up so there's more depth and it looks more free day. And that's the main main options you need really. You can go through have a look at other things yourself, but the main thing is pick your object, display as a mesh instead of a tick. And you might need want to insert the uh, speed and variation. Variation will show how it looks. Uh, I'll just activate this frame. So if you click home, it goes to the first first frame and click the forward slash to the, to begin animation. Okay, I think I'll need more spin on that. So I'll just go in. I'll go into. I'll just pause there. Click on the modifier and go into. You can go into spin modifier. This will make your a few objects spin. Oh, okay, let's. I'll just bring this full screen view and select the thing. All right, play. Maybe increase the spin. Um, variation is good as well. Just put this about five percent. Bring this down to one. So just play around with these two settings, and you can see the object spinning, exploding. Maybe I'll just put it as free. So that's how it looks. It looks pretty nice. It's just for fun to explode your object. All right. So that's the first part. I'm gonna go in and create a melt modifier. I'll show you how to melt a 3D object as well. Okay, to melt, just go to the modifier list and go to just melt, that's what it's called. So you bring this amount up and we'll show you the amount of melt. Actually, I select the wrong model. I want to make sure you select the, select the model and apply the melt. Okay, we, we, I select the wrong model there. So I'll go select this model and go and select melt here. And I'm going to also animate as well. Um, just click on animate and put on a keyframe. Bring it to the end frames or where you like and turn on auto animate. And if you bring this up and pick your, pick your axis you like to melt your model too and do it on the last last on the keyframe you like to put it to make sure other key is on so it captures the the change in the animation so um, it will create an animation from the initial shape to the shape that's it's changed to uh, if you don't know if you don't know what I'm talking about you might need to have a look for some 3d max animation tutorial but here is how the model melted. So I'll just pause that. You can some other setting for melt is you can change the spread. If I want to make this a bit larger, so it expands out when it's melted. And I'll bring this a bit lower so it doesn't melt too much. You can change a different melting method. Um, plastic is nice. Ice it just keeps a a physical centerpiece when it's melted. So we'll play that and see how it looks. All right, I, I should cancel that. Um, see what I did there. I changed the setting while it's while it's in the wrong keyframe. I gotta go here, turn on auto key, so it only adjusts the setting for that particular keyframe. I'll bring this up and bring the bring that down and I'll turn it to plastic untick auto key and play so there you go that's how you create a melting 3d head and also one more thing if you like to adjust 
just the the box which you can do is let me have a look I'll just spin this around so it's when it's melted it's flat down okay select the wrong thing again make sure you select your head go to rotate and keep it around there and now it should melt on a flat plane yeah I'm not sure how you would go changing the box to where it melts but that's that's the tutorial here I also use a gravity or spray modifier but if you need me to show you that just let me know it's just takes make takes some more time to animate um, to create the video and I don't want to make the video too long so it's it's hard for people to watch okay. yeah there's a lot of pieces flying around so it's a bit complicated for your computer I just want to check one thing in here yep make sure it starts at the beginning particle starts from zero all right everybody that's it that's the video there this is just a fun video to show you some interesting you can, things you can do with your 3d data have some fun and uh, it would be great if you like the video and favorite uh, that's really just really helpful to um, promote my video, show it to our people and improve the search so I get more views. So thanks a lot. Um, have a great day. See you later.